have a daily charm mystery box. So this is the spring box and I am so excited to dive in. I already took a little peek because I thought I was recording, but I wasn't recording, but I was like, all right, I'll just start over again because I didn't get far at all into it. Um, but thank you for coming to my channel to watch this video. My nails are a little banged up, so let's ignore that. But please, if you're not subscribed, please take the time to subscribe to my channel. It helps so much. And if you are subscribed, well, thank you for the ongoing support. So let's jump right in. And so, ah, <laughs> I just love how Daily Charm always does like the crinkle paper and like a theme that's going on with the rest of the box. And generally, I'm not a pastel kind of person, but like, at this time of year when it's been so dreary and wintry, I welcome the bright Eastery pastels. Eek. All right. All right. And so I've been seeing this card everywhere on their Instagram and I've been trying to ignore it because I want to be surprised. But um, if you want to use the code, it's Flower Child. It's good till April 15th. And yeah, let's dive right in and see what we got. I'm going to move this box to the side, but the first thing on this box are these hair clips that are such a 90s throwback. <laughs> if you were uh, in high school in the late 90s, or early 2000s, you definitely had these. I wore these hair clips to my sophomore semi-formal, uh, but they weren't flower shaped. I believe they were dragonfly shaped. <laughs> because I didn't want to be cliche and wear Barbies like not Barbies butterflies like everyone else but these are super cute because they're like the soft plasticky type of thing I don't foresee myself wearing these because I am now almost 40 but they're still so cute and I'm sure I can give them to like a friend's kid who will want them and love them and put good use to them but I love the material they're made out of they're so such a throwback for me all right. Ooh. Look at these. I love that Daily Charm has been throwing their twinkle twinkle rhinestones into the boxes. Um, this is my third set of twinkle twinkles. But these are like really cute pastelis, like pink and green and blue. I actually ordered a mix similar to this from Shein that should be coming any day now. So that's another reason to subscribe to my channel. I have a couple fun hauls coming through. But um, these are like really cute glitters. Look at that. Look how it would look with a Frenchie. Okay. Not glitters, but rhinestones. Sorry, I'm having like a brain fog today. Ugh. All right, what do we got next? Oh, some white stickers. I don't know how well this is going to show up in the camera. But let's give it a whirl, huh? Oh, I like these because they're kind of like translucent-y. So you could do it on like a darker background and then put a sheer color over it and it'll take on the color of the sheer if you wanted to. Or you could just like pop it onto anything and just have like these really pretty white stickers. Oh, I love that. Also, they kind of have that plasticky smell. I love the smell of plastic love it all right oh some more floral stickers i guess it's like the new thing they're coming out with i saw a lot of the advertisement for these um but they're more like realistic looking stickers and i suppose there's a time and place for realistic looking flower stickers typically i like them to kind of look watercolor like watercolors or i don't know just not so literal if you will o m g oh my god i have to get out a little tray for this these are so nice i've been obsessing over rhinestones like this for a while now they have kind of like that sailor moony vibe oh my god but these are just so nice like you really can't tell the quality difference between Shein and daily charms charms like i have a charm similar to this from daily charm i mean from shein and there's a quality difference there really really is green okay 
red. This is kind of like a nice little mix of different colors, I suppose. What are you? What is that? Oh my god, it's a shoe! Little high heel with a pearl. Okay. This is really like a hodgepodge today. A little cluster. A mini little cluster. A pink heart mix. A green heart. Ooh, a little red heart. Yeah, they kind of just like threw everything in this. Tell me this is one of the ones that say, I swear. It says, bitch. That's cute. But it's tiny, so it's really hard to make it out. Little green key and a silver heart it's a fun like assortment the only thing and i said this before about daily charms mystery boxes is they don't give you enough to do two hands you can only really do one hand um because they don't give you a pair of things so it's like your hands would either mix and match or you're supposed to just do it to like on your practice hand which is fine i love my practice hand should probably use it more Ooh, butterflies and these like metal backing things. That's fun. They always give these out too. I, I, you know, I don't use a ton of these. I probably should use more of them. These would be fun if you were doing like those Lisette Cruz um, aquarium nails. Because she always talks about putting things with weight in it. And this would be weighty. Oh, some flat back pastel pearls. That's cute. This is a very pastel y box. Not a surprise because it is for the spring. These kind of remind me of the Valentine's hearts. These are the Valentine's hearts, but they put some bows in. Interesting. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, there's a moon. Yeah, some bows, a butterfly. This is just like an acrylic mix. But some of these are the same hearts that came in the last one. Um, I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of that already from Shein. And these are just as good as the Shein ones. So that's the thing. Like, there are things from Daily Charm that are significantly better than from Shein. And then there are things that are exactly the same. You kind of have to learn both. Uh, both inventories to know who's going to give you what. This is like a weird shard mix. Shards, metals. I don't really have, feel like this speaks to me. I would need to watch other people's videos to see how they're using this. If you have an idea of what to do with this, comment below. This doesn't really speak to me. But these do. I had wanted something like this from Shein and I didn't splurge and get it. But now I'm so glad I didn't. Look at these. Oh, so cute. They're iridescent -y. Oh, so cute. They're not all. Some of them are clear bottoms. And so they shift based off of the background. Like this one shifts. Not a, well, no, that one doesn't actually. Hold on. Maybe it's this. This one it does? Yeah, totally. Like, look at how cute though. Oh my gosh, I love that. I'm on like a real green kick right now too. I don't typically get into greens, but for whatever reason, I'm feeling green right now. These are so cute. I'm glad I got these. These make me happy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> look at these. They look like candy. <gasps> it looks like candy. It re a bag inside of a bag. Okay. But yeah, it really looks like candy. Ah! I can't open this fast enough. I'm so excited that this looks like candy. Look at these. Oh my god. These give me like such like childhood vibes. Like they remind me of like 
plastic like bedazzlements as a kid. They're cute. <laughs> yes, I'll have to find some fun way to use these. These give me like giggles. What else? What are you? Nail, oh my God. I, stop it, stop it. Daily Charm, are you coming out with these? I've been wanting these forever. They're pens that you can just like write on your nails with. Because I'm not very great at art, but I might be able to hand draw better than I can like use a paintbrush. Oh my gosh. Actually, is this just like one of those like paint pens? I bet it is. Oh, but it's very thin. It's very fine. Let's see. You usually have to press it down so that the ink can get into the pen part. Oh, it's going. There it is. Look at that. Oh my God. I remember these. I remember these kinds of pens came out when I was in like the seventh grade. Yes, you can totally paint on nails with these. Let me see if I have the practice nail I can grab really quick. This is something I did a while ago. Yeah, you can just like scribble on there. <laughs> and that's how you can do your art. I'm excited for that. Hopefully they come with other colors in the future. That's fun. I love like new stuff like that. Ooh, a cuticle pusher. I love a good cuticle pusher. I haven't really been able to figure out how to use my e-file to do cuticles well. So I've been relying on hand tools. So I love a good hand tool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at how much of the dusty crusties that just like removed. Oh my goodness. What a good little gadget. Did you see that? That was nuts. I mean, it might just be me needing a fill. Let's try it on another nail and see if I can get the same amount of dusty crusties up. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. This little doohickey, I would not have expected it to be as effective as it is. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You're going to be in my uh, nail prep repertoire for now on, you little thingy. Cool. <laughs> I kind of want to do one more. One more on screen. So push, 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 push. I'm not even using cuticle oil right now or the remover cream. Yeah, that gets in there. Cool. And it's not sharp. It's like blunt, but it's effective. I am pleased. It will put you to the side because I will be using you soon. Oh, we got a few glitters. The first. Ooh. Is this just like a flower to do nail encapsulations with? Yellow. Pretty. I wish I had more of these. It'd be fun to do more. I'm sure they must have them on their website. Okay, this is 0 0.008 glitter dust. I'm excited to have this because sometimes I want to buy glitter from them. And I'm like, well, how big is 0 0.008? And now I'll know because I'll have a reference piece. And it is tiny. But that's a pretty glitter. And then this is cherry blossom. And it's a hollow pink. Ooh, the 
that's fun. Fun, fun, fun. I love glitter. I already know this is like the shards of reflective paper, but does is this like the super flimsy kind? Or is this the more thick kind? Like the flip, oh, geez, Louise, it's flying everywhere already. It's thicker, so it doesn't break up as easily. So that's cool, but like, I don't know, I have a ton of this that I just haven't cut up myself. And if I just took the time to cut it up, I'd have it. So like, I mean, hold on a second, oh, let me show you something. That's what this is. It's this one. Or this or this. Um, and this probably cost me $2 on Shein. And it's rolls and rolls. So Daily Charm has some amazing things that you can't find the quality anywhere else. But then there are some things that are just clearly marked up for the sake of marking up. And now the last two things are charm gels. So let's get out a couple of swatch sticks. Okay, so I am a fan of charm gels. Interesting. It kind of shifts. Does that mean this is magnet? It even says M. So are you magnet? And then this one says S29, Lucky Sandstone. So I'm guessing S means shimmer based off of the other ones I have. And I bet this means magnet. So let me get out a magnet. Just in case that is what it's saying. Let's see. Ooh. Because like the little tabby changes colors. Oh, look at this coral. Oh, I've been wanting a color like this. It has a smell. Like not a bad smell, but almost like like a perfumey smell. Okay, there's nothing magnetic about this. So I don't know why it has an M. Do you change based on your temperature? Let's throw you in the light and see if that's what that means. I don't know what that means. If you know, comment below with what that means because I have no idea what that means. Ooh, and this is really thick right now because it literally just arrived on my doorstep so it was cold and the UPS truck. So that's why this is so thick. Oh, what a pretty pink. Pretty, pretty pink. Ooh, I like that. It's not like sheer but it's not fully opaque it's like somewhere in the middle so I'll do a second coat I think of each of those and that's everything in the no it's not there's one more thing oh look I love I hold on I'm gonna wait to show you that so let me yes it does change based off of heat it turns white oh That'll be pretty because then it like almost like ombres on your natural nail. Oh, look at it changing already because it's getting cold. But it has like a really like perfumey smell. It's like not a bad smell, but there's a smell to this and I can't place it. And I'm very sensitive to scent. So if it was bad, I'd say so, but it's not bad. <laughs> So it's color changing. I wonder if M means like mood, <laughs> like a mood ring changes based on your body temperature, not necessarily your mood. Okay. Let's try coat number two of this. It's pretty. And I think now that there's two coats, it's full coverage. It has like a, green reflect in there it's really pretty okay 
Now let's do the final unveiling, which is a glass file. I love having a glass file. And I like that this is pointed because it can actually help me. Oh my God, it gets even more of my crusty dusties. <laughs> I think, oh my gosh, look at how much of my crusty dusties it's cleaning up. I think this might be, these two things are going to be for my next manicure. And I will be doing a manicure in the next couple of days. As you can see, my nails need to fill. But I'm going to be taking these all the way off. These are poly gel. I had never used poly gel before. This is my first time using it. Um, and I'm going to be doing something totally different this weekend. So I'll probably use this for my prep this weekend. This is awesome. Both of these are really great. I hope they sell them on the website because I could I can see myself getting more in the future. See, like, this is one of those things where, like, this is just higher quality than I've gotten on Amazon. Lovely. Love, love, love these. Okay. That's the pink and that's the peach. It is a quite a pretty peach when it, like, tones down with the heat. It's very vibrant when it's cold. So let's just throw some top coat on. And there we go. Okay. And that is the box. Now I will decorate a practice hand to use all of these. Let's put all of this in an organized fashion so that I can decorate a nail hand I should say <laughs> 